All right, let's talk high school football now. Uh, Walden Grove takes its six-game winning streak to Micah Mountain, which only has one loss this season. It is our game of the week, so that means yeah, we had a poll up on our website. You could vote, pick who you thought would win this game, and let's take a look at the results. It looks like 64% of the fans thought Micah Mountain would beat Walden Grove. Let's see how things played out with KGA 9's Aaron Patterson. Jason, it's an exciting night here tonight. As you can see behind me, the Thunderbolts are celebrating their senior night. And for just a little more excitement, playoffs are right around the corner. Now, Micah Mountain didn't make the playoffs last year, and despite going 8-2, neither did Walden Grove. But it's a little bit different for Walden Grove this season as they close out with Micah Mountain tonight and CDO next week. Here's another look at senior night. A reminder, this program has only been around for four years, so these seniors have been with the Thunderbolts from the start. Heading into the game, Micah Mountain starts out strong when Jaden Thorson sends the pass to senior Jonah Garcia for the touchdown. What a way to start off senior night. Micah Mountain leads 7 to nothing. Same score later in the first quarter after the punt from Walden Grove. The Thunderbolts are looking for another touchdown, but Walden Grove's Enzo Morales comes up big with the interception in the end zone. There are minutes left in the first quarter. Micah Mountain still leading 7-0 and again a Walden Grove interception. This time Carlos Montoya Jr. taking it to the house. Game now tied 7-7. It was a close game, but Micah Mountain went on to win 21-7. With this win, Micah Mountain ends Walden Grove's six-game win streak, and both teams are now 3-1, and one, tied for second in 4A Kino. At Micah Mountain High School, Aaron Patterson, KGON 9. All right, both look it up at CDO. Class 3A's best in Tucson tonight. Mojave uh, made the uh, five-hour bus ride drown from a Bullhead City. The Thunderbolts are top-ranked in 3A and undefeated. Sabino, though, they're no slouch. The Sabercats are ranked seventh. They were trying to cook up an upset. And an opening possession, the Sabercats take it right to them. Cameron Hackworth to Shamar Berryhill. And if your last name is Berryhill in Tucson, you're going to be pretty good. The touchdown makes it 6 0. Mojave trying to answer a fourth down run up the middle. Isaac Uria, where is he? He's tough to find. It's 5 foot 6. Does a little Houdini. Urias was uh, never down and now off to the races. A touchdown gives Mojave a 7-6 lead. Sabino trying to match the punch for punch. Zach Binford Wiggins. Right now this is in the fourth quarter and Sabino close to pulling off an upset. 34-22. The game briefly delayed for an injured Mojave player. Let's go to Cochise County now. Tombstone hosting Palo Verde in their season finale. That's because it's 2A. A Yellow Jackets win and they should be in the playoffs. Here's Kega 9's Alexis Rabanjulu. The Tombstone Yellow Jackets won seven games for the first time since 2016, and tonight they're looking for their eighth, which they haven't had an eight-win season in over 10 years. The Palo Verde Titans looked to sour Tombstone senior night, but the Yellow Jackets came out ready to play. On the third play of the game, backup quarterback Malachi Keller kept the handoff and ran it for a Yellow Jacket touchdown to put the home team ahead 7-0. The Tombstone Band was making themselves hurt with the home team ahead 14-0 after the first quarter. But the senior quarterback wasn't done. Keller scurried past the Palo Verde defenders for his second touchdown of the game. The Tombstone fans filled the stands for this final regular season game. Late in the second quarter, Tombstone's Elijah Jones took the handoff up the middle for the score. The Yellow Jackets went on to win 40-7. The Yellow Jackets picked up their eighth win of the season tonight, something they haven't done in more than 10 years, and they did so in front of their home crowd against Palo Verde tonight. And now they just await for the brackets to be released tomorrow to see who they play in the playoffs. At Tombstone High School, Alexis Ramanjulu, Kagan 9. All right, thanks, Alexis. How about Sunnyside hosting Buena? Already up 7-0. Looking for more are the Blue Devils, and that's Aiden Ferragoso, but he fumbles. Recovered, though, by Buena in the end zone. So it is uh, Thomas Romack and, and Adrian Lopez talking things over. Second quarter, Buena's quarterback, Nash Moore. 14-yard touchdown pass to Jaden Thomas and the Colts. Go on to edge the Blue Devils. Final score in this one, 15 to 14.